welcome to a word from word broadcast. We'll get right into it here in just a second. As soon as I get my phone plugged in. Father bless tonight. Holy Spirit have your way. Jesus, we lift you up, the only Savior of the world, Savior Son in his tail. Bless your children, Jesus, wherever they are. Amen. Alright, so right up front give you tomorrow I'll be on about eleven AM. And tomorrow night I'll be on about 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you'd like my contact information, you can private message us. All right. Get right into continuing our messages on uh, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. We have prayer meeting on Monday night, so we'll go ahead and get our broadcast done. Thank you for the ones that watch throughout the night. All right. Hallelujah book of Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 talk about the fruit of the Holy Spirit tonight the fruit of the Holy Spirit and it's contrasted with the fruit of the flesh yeah, the fruits of the flesh are in 19 through 21 and then God gives us the fruit of the Holy Spirit and that's written to Christians because we have the Holy Spirit and we can either um live a life full of the flesh or live a life full of the spirit and the fruits pertain to which life we uh, live by uh, like the old preacher man preached one time there's two dogs inside of one of us each one of us and the dog we feed the most is the one who lives the most through us so if we feed the flesh we'll live in the flesh and if we uh, feed the spirit we'll live the spiritual things of God the fruits of the spirit Take a sip of my drink. I just got done with my karate boxing. So, that pretty much takes the wind out of you. Uh, if you've been praying for my knee, it's at about 60%. That was better than 20% last night. So, we appreciate. Um, I did an upper body workout, by the way, where you don't think I worked out my legs and only my knee was hurting. But, um, uh, hopefully got one more day and I'll put ice on it throughout the night and tomorrow and hit the ground running because <laughs> I uh, got to pay for the beans and taters <laughs> amen oh. so Galatians chapter 5 let's look at it we're looking at the fruits of the Spirit as we continue our series of sermons on the doctrine of the Holy Spirit and if you're saved you have God the Holy Spirit in your heart Galatians 5, 22 and 23, but the fruit of the Spirit, not the fruits, but the fruit. Um, uh, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, which is self-control. Against such there is no law. So we want to look at these uh briefly and quickly because uh, our church is in 58 minutes we've got to get ready and drive there and uh, let's look at these spiritual gifts they're not the same as the uh, spiritual gifts are not the same as the fruit of the spirit uh, we'll be preaching a series of sermons on the um, gifts of the spirit soon the fruit spiritual fruit is produced from within by God spiritual gifts are given by God from without Fruit re relates to our character. Gifts relate to our Christian service in the kingdom of Christ. The fruit of the Spirit, especially love, should be the motive for the operation of the gifts. Fruit is eternal, but gifts are temporal. Spiritual gifts are not the same as natural talents. Unlike the natural abilities which everyone has from their birth, Spiritual gifts belong exclusively to believers who are saved in Christ. Let's look at these real quickly. Love. Of course, the primary key to everything is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It, it does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always 
persevere, love never fails. So number one, that's what love means. Number two, joy. The emotion of great delight or happiness caused by something exceptionally good or satisfying. Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is our strength, is your strength. Hebrews 12.2 says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Amen. Boy, we better get our eyes on Jesus. The author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him, endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down to the right hand of the throne of God. So there's love, there's joy, and there's peace. Peace with God, when you accept Christ as your Savior. The peace of God that he gives you once you get saved. The Holy Ghost moves in and brings it with him. And the peace with God. We can only find peace with God when we accept Christ as our Savior. Peace with our fellow man and peace with ourselves. Long-suffering. It's long and patient endurance of injury, trouble, or provocation. Like when someone keeps making you angry or picking on you, but just let it go and you maintain your control. That's what long-suffering is. Long-suffering is basically love on trial. It enables you to emotionally strong and forgive others. Colossians 3.13, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Another fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. It's being moderate, kind, the absence of being harsh, and being uh, severe. The Apostle Paul illustrates gentleness by the example of her mother feeding her babies, 1 Thessalonians 2, seven. Another fruit of the Spirit is goodness. That means moral excellence, virtuous. God is the ultimate example of goodness. He's never sinned. Goodness is holiness put into practice and it results from knowing God. Goodness enables you to do good to those who hate you as well as to those of the household of faith. It is the goodness and the grace of God that leads people to repentance. That's why we need to be good to people. Our witness won't have any power unless we are kind to other people. We are called to be the light in a dark world for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. And we must make up our minds that we are going to shine. Another fruit of the Spirit is faith. A better translation of that word in this text is faithfulness. Like tonight, I could stay home, but I'm going to be in my place. Faithfulness, the act of being faithful. Doing what you say you're going to do. Being known as someone that you can be depended on, can be relied on, and trust in. The Webster Dictionary defines faithful as maintaining your allegiance. Listen now. Constant, loyal, marked by and showing a strong sense of duty or responsibility, conscientious, accurate, reliable, and exact. Speaks for itself. Another fruit of the Spirit is meekness. Meekness is humility and patience. Meekness is not weakness. It is power under control. Humility or meekness is the opposite of pride. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 5, that God resists the proud but gives grace to the who? The humble. And Psalms 37, 11 plainly states that the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And then the last fruit of the Spirit in the Word of God that's mentioned in these verses tonight is the word temperance. That word, it means self-control, moderation, self-restraint in action or in statement. It means to control your entire body, to control your soul and your spirit. A person who has self-control is mild, is calm, avoids extreme behavior, and exercises self-restraint in both actions and speech. After all, temperance, self-control, and love are the bookends. I like that that hold all the other fruit in place. So you have on one end, you have start with love, and you end with self-control as a book, book ends on a book, uh, bookshelf, and all the other fruits, they hold together. So that's our message for tonight. There'll be a place for you to leave your prayer requests and uh, praise reports on YouTube at Clay Cordell later on tonight, and also right here on this video. 
you can also send me a private message on Facebook and uh, also you can uh, um, tomorrow I've already given you my how to get my contact information and all of that the prayer list already started that we turn in every Sunday we keep through the week and pray over a lot of names have been put on here from different states and different countries and so if you have a prayer request you're put on this list and prayed over uh, yesterday I put in my prayer request so prayer request list so they'll be prayed over tonight for the people that come to prayer meeting well I hope you're enjoying the messages on the Holy Spirit God bless you God bless America God bless the Jewish people in the nation of Israel have a wonderful night we'll continue this series of sermons tomorrow night uh, we'll be I don't know exactly how the Holy Ghost is going to lead me to what sermon, but whatever that sermon is, I know it will be a blessing to me. It helps me, and I hope it will be a blessing to you. Thank you for tuning into our little broadcast. We come to you twice a day here on Facebook when I'm off and when I'm working. Uh, tomorrow's my last day off. I go back into work Wednesday through Saturday. Also, I'm on YouTube every night. I want to give a shout out to my wife who puts it on YouTube every night, this broadcast, the nightly broadcast, and also a shout out to Brother Mark Sparks for helping us uh, with resources for the lessons we teach every morning on the book of Proverbs. I just remembered, I don't know if Brother Mark's watching, he's not, he's still at work, most of all the way home, but I will be sending him um, the scriptures here. If you would like to uh, send some study material on the verses and help us out feel free put it in there by tonight where I can get it in to the lesson that I'll do tonight is Proverbs let's see what scripture it is I had it wrote down but I can't read my own right well, let's see what it is my friends Proverbs eleven twenty six will be the verse for tomorrow morning so if you want to help us out, feel free. Do your study. Send the material to me by private message on Facebook. Off the church I go. Have a good evening.